Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Stony Brook Seawolves and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Number 21 does a wonderful job in using his upperclassman leadership to inspire his team on the floor. Teams need upperclassmen like him to pick them up when the chips are down. The Cornhuskers will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. The Cornhuskers should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. Number one, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Secondly, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Third, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He fakes the shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. Work it inside, and he tries a drop. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. There's the pick. There's the roll. The shooting guard with the ball. Looking for a good shot. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block for two. You betcha. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. They work the perimeter. The power forward takes the feed. He shoots from the top of the key. Mitchell is fired up right now emotionally. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Nebraska is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He gets the rejection. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. Now they work it around the perimeter. Down inside. He blocks the shot. The ball goes out of play. High post flashes. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes the shot. That'll give him a second chance. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gave it up. Turns it over. Tries for two. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The center gets the ball. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious struggle with their shooting, Brad. He shoots from the top of the circle, and he makes the three. And one too many dribbles and a steal for the bucket, and he scores despite the hack. Adam 
Momentary look from three-point land. They work it back to the outside. He throws it up from downtown. Drains the shot. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. Oh yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. We'll show you another angle from the booth. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. The power forward gets the clock shot. Usually creates momentum and opportunity. Off the rim and no good. He looks for three, sinks the shot. They go into the low block. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He tries the three ball. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Pushing that basketball. On the outside, now trying to feed the low block. Trying to feed the low block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Got the high pick. The kick out. He fires from long range. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand not too long ago. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They get out on the break. That's hops. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper, looking for contact. He gets it to fall. Look at these fans. They're loving it. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Great play to take that to the basket. Great anticipation defensively. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? the post flashing if he wants it. Watch out, five second throw approaching. Got it. <laughs> Gave it up. Number two, pump fakes. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. From the top of the circle, can't get it to go. The power forward takes the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, it's just about that time here in the first half for an update. Dick, in your opinion, how is our focus player doing so far? I think he's been a star. I think the star of stars. He has really responded big time. He's been absolutely sensational. Goes up for two. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, and passing the block. Defense! 
it, Nick. This is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork deep into the spot. We got a lopsided game so far, Dick. You've got to be prepared mentally and physically right from the start. You can't afford to give up these big early leads. The frustration right there. Pushes it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. They work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Great shot. They work it around the perimeter. The student body is rocking tonight. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They'll work it around the arc. Unloads a three. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. Steals a pass. This should be an easy bucket. Looking for the foul. And a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw some contact. For two. This one is getting ugly quick, partner. Yeah, things better turn around quickly or this one could be done. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Tries for two. Knocks it down. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the outside. Double team now, bad angle. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. Number three steals the ball. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket, perfectly executed. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turn around jumper. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He hammers it home. <laughs> the 
Butch looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. For two, this team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Adam in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He hits the shot. Look at this effort! With a deep shot from outside, he nails the bucket. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. He wants a three, way off target. Look at that student body, they are going mad. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. Picked out of the air. He shoots from the top of the key. That was nice. Tries for two. They still don't score. Working around the perimeter. They had a shot block with the fake. Gave it up. Let's it fly. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Hey, a few more of those. He may wind up on a bench. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Shot off. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. What a great strip. Rose picks up the defensive foul. Second personal foul. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. The Cornhuskers are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Makes the shot. He doesn't miss that opportunity either. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Here's a double team. He unloads a three. He buries it. He 
He shoots from the top of the circle. He buries the long-range bomb. I think they're trying to make a statement. Dick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Takes it off him. On the outside. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. On the dribble. Gives it up. Puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. Scorches the net. Side. Picks off the pass. They'll work it around the arc. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Right in the circle. Way off target. There's a double team waiting there. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Tries for two. It's good. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. There's the trap. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There they come with a double team to stop it. For the bucket, perfectly executed. They work the perimeter. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. And he scores it off the glass. At the end of the first half, the Cornhuskers lead by 23. We've had a good battle so far, Dick. What do you have queued up for our highlight of the half? My highlight, Brad, has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Nebraska did a masterful job of grabbing the boards in the first half, Mr. Vitale. Wow, I'll tell you, Brad, these guys are so well coached. The coaching staff preaches the importance of winning the rebound battle. And then they went out there and they just did that. Start of the second half, Dick, our focused player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I think you got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. With a little baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Gave it up. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Makes the shot. He looks at the hoop. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. 
I love the sky hook. You can't yeah, block right. that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Puts it up, looking for contact. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Great play to take that to the basket. The Seawolves have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Oh, yes. Watch out, the five-second count is getting close, Brad. He shoots from the top of the key. The Cornhuskers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Moving it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Got it. Row, row, four, four, three. Three. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He kept the ball on the floor long enough to set up the screen and get the nice look from the inside. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. They look like they're having a blast. He tries the three. You betcha. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Number three takes it away. Tries for two. Goes in. Row, row, four, two. 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 Up and inside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Sets the screen for his teammate. And he scores despite the hack. He shoots from the top of the circle. Drains the shot. The Seawolves trail by 17. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He shoots from the elbow. Way off target. He 
He shoots from outside. Stony Brook are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Mitchell receives the pass. Tries a three. Off the rim and no good. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The Cornhuskers are ahead by 16. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Goes for the deep one. Makes it. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. He makes the block. They keep saying, get that stuff out of here. Check that out. He's coming up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. Ten seconds on the shot clock. He shoots from right of the circle. Dumps it in. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He tries to knock down the three. Gets it to fall. Double team now. Bad angle. He shoots from right of the circle. Great shot. Job defensively, they just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. There was no doubt about that okay. one. Good fake. He attempts a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Gave it up. He fouled him. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Dump it inside. When I hear Big 12 basketball, I think tough defense, half court, pound the ball inside offense. Hey, teams like Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma are usually on top of the standings because they can play that style. Mitchell receives the ball. Nice fake. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. They work it around the perimeter in the paint. Set that screen away. For two, and off the mark. Oh, 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. From beyond the arc. Way off target. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. Can't get the shot to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen. Before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. The shooting guard gets the pass. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his his teammates, Dick, he's doing it all and then some. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. <laughs> hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Foul charge. There's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Working it around the perimeter. He draws a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. On the outside. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great play to take that to the basket. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Picks off the lazy pass. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He shoots from right of the circle. He pulls down the rebound. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork. Be that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Accepted. The point guard handles the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first, initially, he wants a three-quarter. 
Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Looking for a good shot. Picked off. That's a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. High post flasher is open. Takes away the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes the pass in the paint. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. That's basic. Fakes it. Great defense. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. They'll work it around the arc. With the shot. Gets it to fall. Here they go into transition. For the deuce, lays it in. This place will go senseless, Dick, if they can get a stop. Goes up for two. In and out. The fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing, they're getting good shots and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. off the pass. Holland handles the feed. We're going to move it around the perimeter on the inside. For two, he puts it in with contact and all. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They work the perimeter. With a sensational block. Rims out. Booker reels in the offensive rebound. And back they come the other way. For the deuce. Up. Easy one. Keep your eye right on the ball here. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. Gave it up. Controlling the ball. He strokes it. Tickles the twine. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Aaron's right about that. We're ready to get back to the action. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Stony Brook have a nice little run going in here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad.
Let's get back out on the floor. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. Up it inside. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots from long range. Got it. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Now they work it around the perimeter. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. It looks like they're going to slow the game down by fouling, Brad. Shot clock is dead. And yet another foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And the clock stopped with a foul. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Gets the second shot. This is where you really need a bucket to have a chance. be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Look at that spacing. Strips the ball. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. He'll go to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Hits his second. If they want a chance to win, they really need a bucket here. to bounce back into action here. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the dribble. Gives it up. Let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Nebraska couldn't get enough going before the final buzzer. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. <laughs>